Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with Matchstick, which is uh, showing their uh, new product, which is already shipping to uh, early backers of their crowdfunding campaign in a uh, sort of demo version for developers. Absolutely. Should be available in a couple of months to everybody else. And it's uh, sort of like a Chromecast in that it lets you stream content to your television, but it's based on Firefox OS. Correct. Um, so uh, why don't you show me how it works? Sure. So uh, what we have here is an Android uh, device, Nexus 5 to be more exact. And uh, what we're going to demo here, and uh, on the TV, we do have a matchstick that's connected to that TV right now. Currently, the matchstick is connected to the Wi-Fi that we have set up here, and so is this Android device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a sample application that we have actually, we wrote specifically, specifically for this event. And uh, this is what we call a video conferencing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect to this matchstick right here. So everything's live. And... Uh, Surely you should see yourself on TV. And what I'm going to do, there what's cool about this, I'm actually going to pull up my own personal phone. Okay. I'm going to pull up my own personal phone, and I'm going to launch the exact same application. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to... Oh, oh I, I guess I didn't connect to Wi-Fi, I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Uh, on a show floor, these things never work as well as you yeah, want them to. You know but so the idea is that in addition to just uh, streaming videos over the internet, you, can't, you can do more than just YouTube or Netflix. You can run individual applications that are designed to take advantage of this feature, uh, such as web conferencing or video chat features. Absolutely. Yeah. So really what we're really trying to show out here is that uh, this device is not just for video consumption anymore. Um, and the cool thing about this is that it won't... It doesn't have to be in the same area network either. Magic can be on Wi-Fi, and these two devices can be on 4G LTE or even in another area network, and they can still connect and discover each other. And that is the great thing about uh, Magic, really. Um, so on top of that, let me show you another application here. I'm going to launch the App Push. So again, this is a sample application that we built. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Looks like the network is down. Yeah, the network is down. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. So let's uh, cast it over here. So what we're doing right now is we're pushing a video. Wow, this is really... These things always work better when you're at home and you don't have <laughs> a thousand wireless yeah, signals yeah, around absolutely. you. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. So right now we're pushing a video. It's just really our demo video. And uh, to the TV via the matchstick right now. The cool thing about this is that the video matchstick will actually uh, prompt information back to the sender as we as the video is going. So we just saw a couch and a, and a couch appears in the application. Now this is not preset. It's actually the cloud is pushing the information to the sender in real time. So this then really enables this two-way communication. Really enables a lot of uh, possibilities for app developers, software developers, and so on and so forth. And um, this is based on Firefox OS. It runs uh, applications that are uh, different uh, from what you would get on something like a Google Chromecast, which is a much more limited sort of closed source. Absolutely. System, right? So again, so uh, the device works with. Uh, Android, obviously, and it also works with Firefox OS. Okay, so I think this is a cool demo that uh, maybe uh, your readers or your viewers might actually enjoy. What we're going to do is we're going to launch this application called Face Mask. All right, and we're going to go ahead and uh, connect to this device, and we're going to go ahead and cast it. Again, we just wrote this for the demo purposes. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a picture of you, if you don't mind. Don't worry, we're not going to keep it or anything. And uh, we're going to go ahead and launch the camera. Turn this around. And we're going to take a quick picture of Brad here. And we're going to go ahead and select it. And what's going to happen is the picture is going to get pushed to the TV screen via the matchstick. Just give it a few seconds. And the Wi Fi. There we go. And we're actually detecting your face in real time. And we're going to actually find your face. And it's going to say face found. There we go. And we're going to switch out your eyes. Let's uh, give you some fiery eyes here. So really, again, this is a very simple, kind of boring application. But really what we're trying to demonstrate here is that there are a lot of interactivity, a lot of functions that you can implement. And Magic is really capable of a lot. This is really what we're trying to show here. Okay. So right now, again, it, was, uh, it started off as a crowdfunding project. It's uh, going to developers in the early version. Final version should ship in a couple of months. And uh, February, to be exact. February. Okay, yeah. so not even a couple of months. Yeah. Uh, I've forgotten. Or actually, I, I think I ordered one uh, Did you? for like twelve dollars when you had the early campaign. Oh, you got one of those twelve dollars yeah. ones. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, oh, I should have gotten the developer. But whatever. Absolutely. So, um, so anyway, so it'll be coming soon. And um, and after the crowdfunding campaign, what's what's next? Is it going to be available at retail prices or what? Yeah, we're definitely at the table with a lot of the larger distribution. 
computers right now, and uh, we're also at a table with a lot of the content uh, aggregators or VOD services, and uh, so we have a lot of stuff coming from ASIC. Okay. And the uh, full, full retail price will be what? $25 MSRP. Okay, 25 bucks, a little bit cheaper than a Chromecast or a Fire TV stick. Yeah, absolutely. So it would be, a, in a, especially if you're a techie, if you're a nerd like us, if you want to hack it, you want to make something out of it, everything's open source.